talk about this great haul from one yard sale stop. Steve and I were on our way to the coast for a much needed day break and we weren't going to be spending the night so we had to drive down, park all day and drive back. We left early because most of the coastal communities now charge for parking. 
So between the drive down, the gas down, and the parking, you know, we were looking at a $50 to $60 day just to go hang out on the beach for the day. So we get up as early as we can because there is a beach that we go to down there, um, the Onslow County Beach Access uh, in uh, Topsail Island, where you can park for free still, but you've got to get there early. Their gates open, I think, at 830 and, you know, you need to get there early so that you can get a parking spot or they fill up pretty quick. Well, in order for us to get there at 8.30, we'd have to leave the house here probably at about, you know, I don't know, 5.30. <laughs> and that's just not going to happen on a day off. So we did leave, I think, at 7. We figured we'd get there about 9.30 and still have a chance at a parking spot. At any rate, long story short, there wasn't a lot of time to stop at yard sales on the way down. But I, we did see this one. And I turned around and said, let's just do a quick stop. So I didn't film, didn't take the time for filming because, again, I was in a hurry. We were in a hurry. And uh, I just quickly went through and picked out the items. What a great one to yard sale to pick for the one stop of the day because th this lady who was selling her items obviously was a collector, had a great eye. This was a lifetime of collection that she had. And these are the items that I picked out. I'm going to start right off with this absolutely great scale. I'm very excited to get this. It does have its glass front. It's a Phyllis Scoop and Scale Manufacturing Company from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. It's a 30 pound capacity. It does have the hook at the bottom that you can attach the, um, the tray that goes on the bottom. This does not come with a tray. On the back side, the glass is not there so it's just glass on the front side here for display but oh wow what a great piece don't come across these very often so loved it Th that's what i think i liked about this sale is there were some unique items things i don't see very often like this here this is a hemo thompson's double malted malted milk and that says with beef and iron so I was researching and researching, trying to think, what in the world would you drink malted milk with beef and iron? And I looked and looked and looked and could not find this particular one with that addition of beef and iron. I saw a lot of malted milks. You know, you have malted balls are used in candies. But with beef and iron, I'm like, what is this? And Steve says, it's a protein drink. It's a protein shake. I'm like, oh my gosh, that maybe is what it is. So who knows? I thought that was pretty wise of him. He's like, it's a protein shake. <laughs> so vintage protein shake right there. That's my thoughts on it. That's Steve's thoughts on it. Little wooden snake. Yes, that is a little wooden snake. It articulates. thought that was pretty cool. These shoe stretchers are really neat. They're old. They're wooden. And then this little peg it's a little metal peg with a chain that you put in these little holes and i just thought wow what a great display piece they could actually hang on the wall the way they're made instead of just sitting on a shelf really liked those and you know i'm going to pick up pottery if i see any pottery you know, it's artwork cute dog with his tongue sticking out it does have some initials on the bottom I think that's M-K, but probably just a, you know, a handmade piece, a student piece, but I thought they did a cute job, whoever did it. A flower frog and some glass ornaments. And this is a Blanco, and it is, you probably can't tell from the video, it's a, it's like a, a lavender color. Or a purple, purple lavender color. It's very pretty. Vase. In great condition. All of this stuff was in good condition or great condition. Like this maiden, Indian maiden picture. Just love it. It's hard for me to capture. I'm getting a lot of reflection. But it is really beautiful. Just, They're just so like graceful or peaceful or something. There is a little damage, and she did point that out to me. A little damage up in the, the top there. But I don't think, you know, it's enough to, to take away from it. I think it's just such a beautiful, beautiful print, and someone's really going to enjoy it. 
Look at all these great mirrors. There's three wooden mirrors and this one Art Deco. Love the look on that, that Art Deco look. And this one, look at the, the shape of that one. Isn't that cool? And then this is a antique curl iron. You would heat that up, I think, in a fire <laughs> or some type of coals or something. You would heat it up and then use it. I think it takes a while to do your hair now. <laughs> Imagine doing it that way. And there were three fans that I picked up. This first one I picked up has fringe on it. I really liked that. The fringe on it and it looks like some ladies out on the lake. I think one of them has their little dog in the boat with them. Yes, that is just such a beautiful fan. Picked up this other fan. This one is from Korea and it's signed on the back. Don't know what it's signed because it's in Korean, but it's signed on the back. And then there's another fan tucked back in there. It's quite large. And then look at this guy. He's just too cool. He is just too cool sitting back on his front arms there. He's got a glass eye. He's made of felt. Tried to research him, and I believe he's a collegiate doll. There would have been attached to him some type of emblem for the college. And it looks like he might be missing his. But we think he's just so cool. We're probably going to keep him. And then this Mectronics planter's clock. If you look down here, it tells you when you can plant different things. And I love the moon and the globes. Just love all the artwork on that. <laughs> you know me, I like the artwork. They told me that they removed the electronic parts of this clock and installed battery operated mechanisms instead. So we haven't tested it yet to see if it works. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to figure out how to set the planters part. But I did look up online and these clocks are vintage. Even if they're not working, some of, some of them are selling for $50. I saw one I think at $25, but everything else was between $50 and $100 for that clock. This beautiful piece of art glass with great colors for the fall. Look at that. It's like a butterscotch. So pretty. This little elephant with the felt. Another great piece. And this washboard that's been turned into a cabinet. Let's see if I can get it open for you. But it's the Double Handle Columbus Washboard Company. And looks like this one in particular was best for hosiery and lingerie. But this is the cabinet. It opens up. You can mount it to the wall. It's got some holes in the back that you can mount it. Here are the joints. Very nice condition. Everything, like I said, in this video or in this uh, yard sale was in good to great condition. Oh, here's another thing too. This is the a Coca-Cola bottle cap collector, but it is vintage. You can see the little Coca-Cola boy on it. There's the little, you attach that to the wall and then you put this over and it collects all your little tops there. And a metal rooster. Always good to have a metal rooster. So anyway, there's all the great pieces that we picked up at one yard sale. This lady had a great eye. I really appreciated all the items she had. And uh, I'm glad we were able to make that stop. Everybody, I hope you're having a great week. This is just a bonus video for the week. We'll come out with another one uh, at the beginning of the next week when I do, uh, when I show our Friday haul, if we go shopping this Friday or sometime, we're sure we will sometime over this weekend. But everybody have a, like I said, a great week. Get out there, find yourself a treasure, put a smile on your face, and thank you for watching.